What's up guys welcome back to another video today in this video we'll be taking a look at resurrection remix 7.0 which is based on android pie for oneplus 3 and 3t so without further ado let's get started before that if you haven't subscribed to our channel do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so guys finally resurrection remix is back with android pie it was one of the highly customizable rom during the time of oreo and one of my favorite rom so I've already installed it on my OnePlus 3. Let me show you the software information. Going to About Phone. And here you can see Android version is Android 9.0. Resurrection Remix version is version 7.0. Android security patch is 5th Jan 2019. Winter security patch is 1st November 2018. And the build date is 18th Jan. This ROM can be installed on both the devices OnePlus 3 and 3T. And I'll also keep you guys updated with the list of devices it supports. So for that you can check the description below. First of all basic things like Volti services, dash charging, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything is working fine. ROM comes along with the applications like Audio FX, Lineage Camera and RR Sats. I don't use Lineage OS Camera, instead of that I have installed Google Camera and which works fine here. Because Camera to API is already enabled on this so you don't have to do anything extra to enable Camera to API. And as you can see in the notification panel, this means that Volti services are working. Slight issues I've been noticing in the network drop. So now let's take a look at the features and the customization options available on this ROM. So this is your app drawer. Let's go inside the settings. Here network and internet is working fine. No issues with the Bluetooth. Let's go inside Resurrection tool where you have lots of customizations related to status bar, quick settings, recents, lock screen, animation, miscellaneous, interface, navigation, buttons and you have few information about the ROM and the developers. Under status bar you can customize the clock, battery status style can be changed, you can enable weather in the status bar, brand logo can be enabled from here. Then you have status bar gestures in which you can enable brightness control, double tap to sleep can be enabled from here. Quick setting consists of animation, tile layout and quick pull down. Under recents we have alternative recents option that is slim recents and you can also hide the applications. By default we get pie recents panel but if you want you can also enable slim recents. Lock screen have few customizations related to fingerprint unlock, charging info, face auto unlock and media art cover. Moving on with the animations, screen on animations consist of simple fade, color fade, CRT and scale and my favorite one is CRT. Under miscellaneous we have show CPU info, weather, wake lock blocker and alarm blocker. Under interface we have options like dashboard, system UI tuner, display size can be changed. You can also set the custom LCD density. Smart pixel can also be enabled from here to get little bit of extra battery life. Then we have pre-installed fonts so you don't have to install any third party application or Magis module to have these fonts available. We also have gesture anywhere feature which can be enabled from here. Then you can add custom gestures to launch any application. So let me add a gesture. To open up browser and I'll write B done. Now let's go back, open up anywhere gesture, draw B and here you can see browser opens up. There are also options to turn off the screenshot sound and we also have screenshot type option where you can take the complete screenshot or else if you want you can take a partial screenshot. Under navigation we have few options to edit navigation bar, you can enable or disable navigation bar from here and if you also want to have full screen gestures that can also be enabled. Under buttons we have options of hardware keys, volume rocker, power button, additional buttons where we have swap of buttons in which you can swap back and recents button. Later you can also customize the notification slider. So guys these are the customization options on Resurrection Remix. 
then under battery we have battery manager and few options to change the profile we have five profiles available for device performance first one is power saver efficiency balance quick and performance this can be used to play heavy games like pubg and battery backup is quite decent till now i've got 2 hours and 9 minutes still i have 34% of battery remaining under display we have options to change the theme under which we have four themes available automatic based on wallpaper automatic based on time of the day light and dark but the good thing about this is if you choose dark the settings panel also gets changed which normally doesn't happen on android pi you also get options to change the essence color where we have few pre-installed essence color available ambient display works fine we have always on display pickup notification hand wave and pocket pulse double tap to sleep double tap to wake prevent accidental wake up everything is working fine under security and location fingerprint scanner works fine and later under system we have few options of buttons system profile status bar gestures which is touchscreen gestures and here all the gestures are working fine let me show you one of the example let's open up camera and here you can see camera opens up then we have option of jump to camera under system itself you get an option of updater where you can directly update your room if any OTA is available and with the initial build of resurrection remix we also have an option of OTA updater so if any update is available you can check that from here so guys this was the quick look on resurrection remix i'll be using this room for a day or two and i'll update you guys if any bug found or any issues i'm facing and if you also face any kind of issues then do let me know in the comment section below talking about the performance i also played pubg and trust me guys performance of pubg was really great there were no lags found while playing pubg here's a 30 seconds of gameplay And now let's take a look at the benchmark results with Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 1,713, wherein multi core have scored 3,870. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 165,685. So guys, this was all about Resurrection Remix based on Android Pi. If you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video and if you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.